just finished a new project. Uh, this is the kind of prototyping board I used to use. It had um, like a big lithium battery and a boost converter and charge and stuff and a big breadboard and it worked. But now I got this. 3D printed the case, new breadboard, it's a bit smaller, but different voltages. And if I take it apart, which this is the new design. It's a tiny, tiny switch over here. You can see that? Damn motion tracky. There's a tiny switch there, goes over here. I have the same type of linear charge controller as I did before. There's a little LED to know when it's on. Here's the big battery protection circuit. This is a 2.2 amps, 3.7 volts. Here is the switch mode boost converter that I made the PCB for. It's the uh, the same one used for the hamster ball project using the XL6009. Um, I have it set up to boost the 3.7 volts into 12 and then linearly convert that with a 5 volt regulator and a 3.3 volt regulator. LM7805 and uh, AS17 blah blah blah. 3.3 volts, you get it. Some electrolytic caps and uh, that's pretty much it. They just slide together like this. And get the damn thing to focus. There's a little hole over there for the USB port. It closes up something. Oops. <laughs> damn thing. This is just like that. The little USB port sticks right out of the side. Some vent holes, obviously, to mostly save on plastic. It doesn't get warm enough, but it can. I have overpowered this thing. It's not in. There we go. And if I turn on the switch, little light comes on. And then these two are 3.3 volts. These three are 5 volts. And this last one is 12 volts. Pretty much gives you uh, all the options that you would normally need for power. God damn, this thing is not going in. But uh, yeah, took me an hour and a half to print the case. With my uh, ghetto rig 2 up, I guess, with the filament hanging on the doorknob. Uh, but yeah, just put these new capacitive sensors, and I made my own uh, level shifting board. And uh, the little PC that I made just for this, for 3D printing. Mini ITX, with uh, everything crammed into one of those old school power switch things. Uh, I need to extend the cable so I can lay the entire printer on top of it, but uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.